Now, the issue that has occurred from this and what is concerning to me in this whole process that we're talking about is that we have now deregulated a lot of that. So we went from C car and it was a very specific size and banks spent millions and millions of dollars lobbying for politicians to come back um, and reduce the regulations and they're gonna increase the bar. So I believe the original bar, I think it was $100 billion, maybe it was $50 billion banks and above had to comply with CCAR. No, I don't remember off the top of my head the exact number, but, and then I think it got moved to like 200 or 250 billion. And so that dropped out a bunch of the smaller banks. And then only the really big banks were part of that. And then they called them like, you know, those big globally important banks. And those were the ones that had to do the most, you know, critical scrutinous process in this whole process here. But as time went on and they reduced this, now they have what's called, I think it's called like HCR, HCAR, whatever, instead of secret. They started to dumb this down and they've watered this down. And I experienced this in my career where it was like we were doing really rigorous quantitative work. And then it was like, you know what? The regulations are falling away. Um, we can hire non-quants to do a lot of the work now, like model validations, just like compliance and review. So we can just hire someone with a business degree in undergrad and pay them 60,000 instead of the 150, 160 we were paying. Um, and then we can start to outsource a lot of this to India, which a lot of companies did. The quality of the validations significantly dropped. The requirements and the standards of many banks in their validations significantly dropped. And a lot of firms have lost the model validation abilities. It's just gone. But there has become more or less a race to the bottom. And we're racing again, I think, more towards that cliff where we're going to fall off again. As regulations got decreased, banks started kind of running wild. And then it was, I can squeeze out an extra 5 10% accuracy, which is huge in these sorts of models. And so then... Firms are kind of upping the ante of using more and more complex, more and more black box models um, to make some sort of decision. And the argument is, is we're making more money now and to stay competitive in the market, we have to do what everyone else is doing. Um, and so firms have been kind of trying to get rid of the rules and relax and relax and relax. This reminds me now of the copulas in 2007, 2008, right? We need to get more accurate. We're squeezing some accuracy out. The models are actually becoming more rigid and they fail much quicker and they're a little bit harder to see when they're going to fail and how they're going to fail. And so then the response to that is now we have this AI ML push, we've deregulated. We're not really exploring with the scientific method anymore. We're exploring with just chasing correlations and you know doing hand wavy exercises. And now the people that are doing it don't seem to be as qualified um, as they should be. Um, and then you have this weird feedback loop and it, it's a broken system, right? We just we're just a broken system with this.